Hi Virgo, how's it going? And welcome to your May general reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Virgo, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Virgo, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Virgo, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Virgo, let's get right into this. Again, this is your May general reading. Y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Virgo? Again, for May. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. So I'll have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. We're also in Taurus season, so fellow Earth Energy to you. This is your theme right now, okay? This is very, very, very abundant energy. This is very self-sufficient, independent energy. Some of you could be, um, we noticed the peacock there. Some of you in your relationships could be single, ready to mingle kind of energy. But overall, you're very abundant. You're doing very well on your own. Um, I'm hearing financially free. So some of you could be gearing towards a financially free situation, okay? Um, getting more abundance uh, in you know, in work and finances. Um, and, and overall, I'm feeling just a, a sense of confidence coming in in your stability overall, in your home life, in your family, um, in your career, that kind of energy. Beautiful. Spirit, what's going on with Virgo? We're gonna do a nine card spread. What's been the, in this past energy here? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Virgo. Ooh, the other earth sign, y'all have the devil here. So this is uh, recent past energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or could have been 10 of swords. Ooh, there could have been an ending with a Capricorn or uh, with the devil here, it looks like Virgo, you are releasing some devil energy, some toxic kind of thoughts. Some of you, I feel like you've been really hard on yourself. Like Ten of Swords, Devil Energy has given me like kind of beating yourself up because um, Devil Energy can be like a sense of perfection. So I feel like you, you've been really, really um, trying to release like not being so perfect on everything, okay? That's coming through pretty loud and clear. Very good. Virgo. Yes. I'm pretty, yes, 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 yes. You have the strength card, um, card of Leo. And then we have the five of pentacles, more earth energy here with the king of swords. I feel like you've been very sharp in your mind. Some of you also could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in the masculine here. But I feel more than anything in the recent past, Virgo, you've really, really been intentional about cutting out negative thoughts, overthinking type energy that aren't serving you. Some of you also could have cut off um, even a person specifically uh, devil energy like, you know, maybe you were in a connection, a friendship, a relationship with somebody and it's like this person's dragging me down. I don't feel so good when I come home from being around this person kind of vibe. Strength card, that's telling me this has been something you've been dealing with for quite some time and you've had to really, really rely on your sense of endurance. Yes, I'm so, so proud of you, okay? But the five of pentacles here too, I feel like you, um, for some reason in this situation that you've been dealing with, there's an element where you feel like you've been dealing with it alone or like no one really understands you or where you're coming from. We're going to go deeper on that in a second. But you're really coming out of like this like tough time kind of energy, really releasing people situations that aren't serving you. Current energy here. Yes. Virgo. Yes, 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 yes. Virgo. Y'all have the Hierophant. The, your, um, this is the... This is the energy we're in, the Hierophant. 
This is also higher level commitment. So we see five of pentacles to the hierophant without something and then you commit. So I feel like there is you seeing a higher perspective on the situation that you just got through, something that was rather difficult. I feel like now that you've pulled away from something, now in May, you're, look at that, I'm seeing that third eye on top of that pyramid. You're like, I see it now. I see it from a higher perspective. I understand why I had to go through that experience, okay? Beautiful. Yes, you're getting multiple downloads from spirit. You're also opening up lines of communication. And I feel like almost sharing your story. Eight of Wands is very, um, it's a fire energy. It's a communication card. Um, it's also a big social media card for me. So um, again, those of you maybe like in relationships, single, dating, that kind of thing. This is very much like online dating, DM kind of energy. Um, but also again, on this like deeper story I'm picking up, um, for you on a personal level, Virgo, I'm feeling like you're really ready to like share your experience or share what you've been through. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're making a really solid plan. Um, this is beautiful. Ooh, you have the Moon card. Lots of major arcanas. This is going to be a very, very intense time for you. You also have the Moon card um, after this Eight of Wands. I feel like, again, you're sharing from a place of emotion, too. Like, you're almost being more open and vulnerable in the way you talk, in the way you, they're saying, express yourself. Express yourself. I'm getting some Madonna vibes. Yes, love it. Um, so, again, also just some signs we have. A lot of major arcanas. So we have, again, Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, and Pisces slash Cancer out so far. Two of Wands. Again, this is going to be a new beginning for you. Whatever's been going on, you've come out of this, like, dark, difficult period. And now you're seeing, you're like, okay, now I get it. Now I understand why I had to go through that. Let me let me help everyone else. Virgo, you're, this is you. You're like, let me help my friends, my community, my Maybe you have a platform too and you're like, maybe I'm going to share my story and start to help others so that they don't have to go through what I've been through. Ooh, I love it. I love it. For some of you in love and relationships, there also seems to be a very deep, intense connection, devil, uh, strength card, five of pentacles, hierophant, where someone's in separation, but y'all are getting better in separation. Like you're getting, if you're in separation from someone uh, and, and relationships that you feel really connected to, I'm picking up like a strong duality. Like while you're in separation, y'all, you're just getting as an individual better and better and stronger and stronger and more confident and like growing and growing and growing. I love this reading for you. <laughs> Last three. What do we got for Virgo in May, please? What's coming in? It's getting hot in here, y'all. It's like... Like, I might have to go turn my AC down. Like, the, it's, the, it's the energy. It just got really hot in here. Woo! Virgo. All right, loves, let's see here. We have the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck, a messenger energy. Some of you could be talking to someone new, um, learning a new perspective. So after this moon card, we have the Seven of Cups. Again, love and relationships, dating, those, those of you. Seven of Cups, you are now starting to explore your options. You understand that you have more ways to do something than you thought you did. I love that. Even in this like career energy or this like deep soul path energy I'm picking up from you right now, Virgo, you're like, man, I'm glad I went through that because now I have the key. I have the tool to explore seven of cups. This has been really, this is really good for you. Yes. Y'all have the six of swords, your last two cards. You have the six of swords to the justice card. Um, another major arcana, you, this is Libra's card, okay? So again, things are moving swiftly for you into karmic justice where things are working out for you. And I also, speaking of that, some of you, like I said at the very beginning, devil with the ten of swords, some of you are really getting out of maybe a pessimistic type of mindset of, Things aren't working out for me. I'll never find the one. I'll never get my dream job. I'll never, I'll never, I'll never. And you're starting to flip the script. It's hard. Strength card. This is not 
easy to do this. It's real easy to go downer and think low and go bat about everything. That's devil energy. That's fear energy. But we could also rise above, strength card, flex a little bit here, get into our true belief system, hierophant energy here. This is beautiful. And really, really turn the script for ourselves and be more optimistic instead of pessimistic. Things are working out for me. You know, people do love me. I am seen. I am appreciated. I am heard. I am loved instead of all of the opposite things of that. Those are things I'm hearing you say. This is amazing. This is so good for you. I'm obsessed. This is literally such a beautiful reading. What do we have here? Princess of Swords, Page of Swords, bottom of the deck here, Messenger Energy. We have the King of Pentacles, you and your masculine here, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. I feel like, again, whatever's been going on in your recent past, Nine of Swords with this, I feel like it's been really testing your sense of confidence, like within you, just in general. I feel like whatever this has been, it's almost just been... And for some of you too, in a connection, being around, you know, a certain person, um, a friend, a relationship, a boss, whatever, there is, there has been someone for a lot of you specifically, it's been really hard to navigate around a certain person because they are so pessimistic. They're kind of the, you know, when this person comes in the room, like everyone's kind of having a good vibe and then someone walks in and they're just... They got that chip on their shoulder. Wah, wah, wah. There's someone for a lot of you. There's someone in your life that's you're picking up on that energy and you've been dealing with them or that situation for some time. And with this five of pentacles, I do feel almost a hermit energy from you, your card, um, where you like pull away. I don't want to say break up or anything like that, but you pull away for a, a moment in time to really see who you really are. Let's go deeper. This is a fantastic reading. Look, look, Nine of Pentacles again. Wasn't this your starting card? Yes. You are so, so, so much more strong, more worthy, more independent, more amazing. And I'm just hearing worth it, worth it, worth it more than you think that you are. Oh my God. Look at how your garden is starting to grow. Look at the look at the pentacles. Look at the blessings coming in around you because you've done the work, my friend. Yes, you. Nine of pentacles, two of wands. There's that hermit energy, tower, and then justice there again. You've literally risen above, uh, risen above some very low vibe. I want to say programming overall, like good for you for rising above and coming into who you really are. I'm so happy for you. Okay, let's go back. I have to turn the air down. Hold on. This is wild. Okay. Oh my God. Like literally in y'all's reading, like halfway through, it's when, it's when we got to this, I want to say this eight of wands. I was like, like sweating like crazy and I don't <clears throat> I don't know about you but if you're a reader or if you know any other readers out there um I see that from time to time some readers get really cold or some readers get really really hot I get really really hot sometimes <laughs> okay sorry yeah um we have the hangman on your devil here Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy three of swords Some of you were hanging on to a heartbreak, a breakup, a loss of some sort, or someone else around you was. Someone was using heartbreak or pain as ammo. Someone was using pain, heartbreak as, as ammunition, as an excuse to not do this, to not be a good person, to not, to not, to not. Ooh. But we've had a change of perspective. We're like, oh, I've been acting not good. That's either you or somebody else. What's this double for uh, Virgo, please? Nope. Nope. 
Why has the devil been in the recent past for Virgo, please? I was like, we got quiet now, didn't we? See, five of swords, there's been conflict over this. Okay, devil, five of swords, major conflict. And I feel like it's with either you and someone or a group of people. Okay, with this five of swords, there are other people involved. Empress. What's this devil about for Virgo? What's been going on here? But yeah, we have the queen of wands. I'm hearing like walking on eggshells. I'm hearing walking on eggshells. Ace of Cups. There's that confidence energy. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like, um, yeah, there's an element of jealousy here with someone you're dealing with. Could be anything. This is general. A friend, a friend group, a romantic situation, career. But whatever, I do feel like this is like thinking the worst, right? Five of Swords, Queen of Wands. This is very competitive energy. Well, they have that and I don't. It's just kind of you're coming out of like, you know what, man, I've really maybe been not in the right mindset and that's okay. You know what I mean? I feel like because you have the hangman, you have, you are seeing enlight you are getting enlightened on this. Okay. I feel like again with that queen of wands, I was picking up on like some confidence stuff. So again, I feel like someone else's perspective of you has really played your confidence. And I want to remind you. Yes, you that it is never ever your responsibility to worry or care or be in control of what anyone else thinks about you. There's no, no possible way that I can control what y'all think of me and there's and vice versa. Do you know what I mean? Just for example. So let's drop all that negativity and let's move on. I feel like a lot of you have really been having a hard time moving out of a very negative mindset and I feel like it's been influenced by also someone in also a negative mindset okay but you're like you know what that's not me and i love that strength card why has this been here in the recent past for virgo please yeah 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 four of swords seven of swords ace of swords Wow, for some of you specifically, you know someone that you've been dealing with, again, romance, a coworker, a friend, someone that you've been around. Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, Ace of Swords. You know the truth about someone, but you're, I'm hearing, you're biting your tongue. You know that someone's kind of like a cheater or someone's kind of a snake. Someone's a little phony-like. This is not you, it's someone around you. Yeah, two of wands, that's see, that showed up earlier. You're moving away from that kind of energy. Like that's what you've been attached to. That's what you've been around. And you're like, you know what? I'm ready for better. I'm on a higher level, higher perspective. That's what this Hierophant energy is about. Yes, thousand percent. Ace of swords again, that's your truth. It's like overall, even if you, you know, aren't really suspicious of someone around you, um, what is that? What's the seven of swords on the strength card? Full card. Yeah, you're just like moon card, eight of swords. See, you know a secret and you're not, for some of you, it's like you know something, you're holding a secret. You know what I mean? And you're like, it's not my business to say, I'm just going to move on. What's this five of pentacles? Yeah, I'm, you're, you're gonna pull away. Five of pentacles is an energy of like, hey, I'm just going to, for you, it's like you going back into your home, back into your hermit, hermit energy. You're like, I need to think about this. I need to sleep on this. High priestess. This is your intuition reminding you to pull away from this person or from that situation. Because why? When the, when the high priestess shows up, that's your, that's your gut feeling. That's your gut being like, oh, this doesn't feel right. I better move away from this. Yeah. What's this five of pentacles recent past for Virgo, please? 
Wow, Ace of Cups and the Justice card, Six of Swords. Isn't Six of Swords here? Yes, with the Justice card. Wow. For some of you, again, like I said, in love and relationships, as you're in somewhat of a separation from somebody that you feel very divinely connected to, you realize in silence, in your hermit mode, in meditation, in your energy, Ace of Cups justice. You realize how much you love somebody. And also for some of you, if you've been in a toxic relationship, if you've been around a toxic friend or something like that, you realize that you've been oversharing, over giving your love to someone who is just an energy vampire. Someone's thinking about making a, some kind of apology or peace offering. Yeah, I was like, anything else on that? And it just already flipped back out. Six of Swords, which is about moving away from this Five of Swords conflict, fighting where we can work things out, apologize, get into smoother sailing waters. It's a great energy. So that's what that Ace of Cups is about. Very spiritual. Anything on Justice? King of Swords. You know your truth. I feel like you're not afraid to speak up now because you because you love yourself so much and you honor yourself so much. Okay. Why is the Hierophant here for Virgo, please? King of Cups. For some of you, this is a relationship of a high level commitment coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorp Scorpio energy, male or female, just in the masculine. Look at that. Page of Cups, peace offering. Peace offering, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. Someone wants to apologize to you. You might want to apologize to someone. Please take it how it resonates. And if, it, if things I say don't resonate, don't force it into your life. We never want to force a tarot message into our lives. We don't want to operate around tarot, okay? Just, if it fits, it fits, great. If it doesn't, move on, okay? This is going to be a victory for you, okay? Hierophant energy, victory, four of cups. You don't, you don't see how it's going to be a victory, but it is. Why is the Hierophant here for Virgo, please? Two of cups. They just showed me a doorway, too. They showed me a doorway on the Hierophant. I've never seen that. There's a doorway, two of cups. There's a way, two of cups. Eight of wands. There's a way to what? Get to the two of cups to get this love, this connection or reconnection, it's about opening up eight of wands. And this is the next card we're going to talk about. It's about sharing your story, being vulnerable, being open. And I feel like that's not been something that you've been comfortable with in the recent past because you've been walking on eggshells around someone. If you've been around like a narcissistic, uh, bully, devil type person, really at the end of the day, that person's miserable and misery loves company. So this is someone who loves to like pull other people down and you're realizing that you're on the high rise, you're on the high road. And you're like, I don't wanna be like, I'm here feeling like, seeing like a vacuum now. You're like, I don't wanna be vacuum and suck back into this vortex over here. You're like, I'm trying to be on healthy communication, healthy connections, healthy, uh, healthy, 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 healthy is coming through. There is a high level commitment with a person coming in for a lot of you. As I say that, literally the Hierophant comes back out. I'm gonna put it back. Oh my God. That's like, that's a marriage card, okay? So potentially someone to marry or long-term commitment with. What's this Eight of Wands for Virgo? What's this, um, I'm hearing open story, open book. Someone's an open book. There's that six of swords again. Someone's coming. Someone's a little scared, but someone's coming. Six of swords, nine of cups, nine of swords. Two of pentacles. This is a wish fulfillment when we get the nine of cups. So you opening up lines of communication, 
or someone opening up lines of communication with you is going to be a wish fulfillment for somebody. Also, those of you remember I talked about sharing your story. When you do, you're going to inspire others. You're going to help others with their anxiety. You're going to make, when you share your story of what you've been through, even if not publicly on a platform, even if you just start opening up and start telling like your friends or your whatever, I just see it being like a ripple effect, like a snowball effect of positivity of like, you know what? I just went through this and this is how I did it. And, da, 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 da. and everyone's like, oh my God, Virgo. You're inspiring me to be better. You're inspiring me. If, I, if you got out of that, I can get out of that. If you can do it, I can do it. Like you're very much that queen of wands energy that you've been dying to be in the way of confidence, exuding that confidence. What's this moon card coming in for you? Pisces Cancer Energy. Two of Pentacles. Page of Cups. So there's an offer that comes in and I feel like you're keeping this something about this relationship, something romantic, something very close to the heart. There, It seems to be with the moon card, two of pentacles, an option that you're keeping under wraps. Not not everybody knows about this for, for a good group of you or will know about it when the offer comes in. Eight of swords. We're talking about the moon card here. Nighttime energy, very deep emotions. What's this moon here for Virgo? Yeah, three of swords. Seven of cups. I need one more, please. There's your five of pentacles. So this is about a, a deep connection that you have with someone. Uh, three of wands. I feel like even though you have these deep feelings, you know better. Even though you have these deep feelings, three of wands, I'm going to wait for something else to come in. Three of swords, this person scarred me before, this person's hurt me before, or this situation. It's also with the eight of swords, also the way that you've seen this in the past has also hurt you slash the situation also in the past. What's the seven of cups? What are all these beautiful options coming in for you, Virgo? What's the seven of cups for Virgo, please? Five of cups, ace of swords. And then there's a the seven of cups again. Wow, look at that. And the eight of cups. And that's exactly what I'm thinking. I feel like for some of you, you actually in the future, no matter how you feel, you actually see, you get a truth served to you. Ace of Swords is the hardest ace to deal with. All, all the aces are great. They represent new beginnings. But I think for some of you, what's going on here is as you decide to, I'm hearing cascade, okay, or move forward, move forward from a person, a situation that really, really just kind of drains you and doesn't serve you, you actually, to your benefit, it's going to sting for a second but to your benefit, I actually see that you, Ace of Swords, you're going to see or get information or news that maybe someone else has moved on. And it's going to hurt real bad for a second. But at the, at the same time, someone's rejection is your protection. Okay? So it's not going to be for everybody. This is a general reading. But for some of you with the Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Five of Cups, Ace of Swords... That is a thousand percent you being sad and disappointed that you saw something that someone else has moved on, gotten a relationship, someone else, I don't know, had a kid, I don't know, something like that. And you're like, dang, that stings, but I'm glad I didn't settle. Okay. You're, we're glad we didn't settle, right? We're glad we didn't settle. Ten of Wands, it was a burden on you. Do you see that? It was a burden on you. Okay. Oh, that was the hard part. That was the hard part. Let's move on. Okay. What's this Six of Swords for Virgo? Yeah, Queen of Swords. You're clear. You're clear. You're open communication. 
like no more hiding you're like yep this is what i'm doing i'm moving on moving forward two of swords came out with the knight of cups yeah and the full card this is beautiful hermit you you're definitely moving into smoother sailing waters um you're not confused about your direction anymore. I feel like you've really been holding on to something, hanging on to something, and now that you fully release it, you've literally granted your, I'm hearing you granted yourself access. You're, you're granting yourself access. Oh, that's the key. So when you literally, actually this might, this Ace of Swords, again, it will sting for a second, but it's actually gonna benefit you better in the long run than you think it will. If you got skipped, good. If someone else chose someone over you, good. Very good. You don't want to settle. You would never settle for less. And I feel like that, it's like with the Queen of Swords, they're saying, yeah, I had to be set straight on that. That's my job. And that's what you couldn't see. You're more free and you're doing much better than you think you are. Okay, let's look at your justice card. Why is this coming in for Virgo? Yes! Woo! Star card, three of cups, yes. Ooh, something's really panning out for you. Something's really gonna pan out for you here. Star card, Aquarius energy, three of cups. Reunion energy, page of wands. What's this justice card? Eight of pentacles. It feels like a maybe some kind of work contract or work reunion here with somebody. Or you and someone want to work something out in, in a friend group or relationship here. What's this star card about on justice? There's your seven of cups. Okay. And the nine of wands. Virgo, you're doing really, really well. I feel like you... Definitely are, are, again, star card and the justice card, like I talked about earlier about are we going to be pessimistic or optimistic? You find more opportunity when you're optimistic, when you keep the faith alive, when you keep the hope alive, right? Um, and then with the Eight of Pentacles, it's telling me that's going to be, you know, something that you still have to be diligently working on. But also, again, in like friends, love, connections, there seems to be a very happy reunion, Eight of Pentacles, as long as both parties are willing to put in the work. Okay. Beautiful reading Virgo. I love y'all so much. We're going to do your pick a card. Uh, and those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Virgo that won this time is Calvin Luna. Calvin, you are my winner. Okay. So Virgo, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. I love y'all and y'all see you in the love reading or next time. All right, Calvin, this is for you, my love. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Literally just the, the sun literally just came out right now as I took that drink of water. The sun was like, it's been cloudy all morning where I'm at. Hi, sun. We've got two more. This is for Calvin and Luna, please. Calvin, what do we have going on for Calvin and Luna, please? Virgo energy. Calvin, three of swords, you're not feeling it. You're feeling very much in pain. You could be have gone through a loss or breakup of some sort. Ooh, ten of swords, it feels like you're not talking to someone or someone's not talking to you. It feels like a major ending here and you are not okay with the ending with the three of swords. Mm-hmm. Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, Seven of Wands. Ouch! Lots of fire and uh, air. Could be dealing with an air sign or fire sign. 
you don't have to be. Nine of Swords, Empress. I feel like you're really, you're, 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 you're going through a lot right now. Really going through it right now. Five of Swords, Nine of Wands. There's some kind of conflict, argument between you and someone or, or a small group of people. Nine of Wands and you're very much just like, I don't want anything to do with that. I don't want to be, you don't want to be in the drama. It's not that you don't care, but you don't want to be in the drama of it specifically. Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, Nine of Swords. You are fully aware of someone's very piss poor behaviors. Page of Wands, and it keeps you up at night. It stresses you out, Empress. This could be a mother or some type of divine feminine. It doesn't have to be a female. This is very strong feminine energy here. Four of Swords. It almost feels like either like a mother figure to you, an aunt, or or a, 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 fe a strong feminine figure in your life. Someone might be like pregnant or finding out some news and you're really stressed about it. Like you're, you're not okay with whatever this is. Like you're really like, no, I didn't want to know that. Like, bah. like you're very upset. For Calvin, what's this? Five of swords, please. Emperor, so that's the divine masculine, or it could be you. There's that fire energy, queen of wands, six of swords. Yeah, there's been like a blow up argument. There's been, yeah, someone's being very, very defensive, not willing, not wanting to budge. One of the two of you. So now I have the emperor and the empress. This is either mom and dad kind of energy or you and someone, okay? Queen of wands, six of swords. Hmm. Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, yeah, Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, Moon card. I'm picking up almost like a story where you might be like in love with someone or wanting to be with someone that may be like your mom and dad or society or I don't know, the neighbors don't like this person. I don't know. Someone doesn't love someone you're around or there feels like a third party, but not in a cheating way. It's like mom and dad don't approve of the girlfriend or the boyfriend or you know what I mean or whatever, like or... And you're just like, cool, cool. Well, I'm doing me. And I, like, you're not taking anyone's bullshit. You're just like, cool, I'm going to move forward then. What's your Ace of Swords about, Calvin? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Um, it's forcing you to have to be exactly, exactly. It's forcing you to have to use that tongue where you don't want to. This situation... Is happening for a reason, Calvin, so that you use your voice better. And it might come out a little bit ragey at first. You might be popping off a little bit on these people, but you're going to tone it down and you're going to figure out that this is actually your power. This is happening so that you find out your power. <laughs> Moon card. This has been hidden from you. Something's been hidden from you. Eight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. I also feel like, again, if there's like a pregnancy or something brewing, you're really pissed that you're going to have to like provide or <laughs> work for this or whatever. What's this devil on your Ace of Swords? The full card. This is about a new beginning for sure. What's this Page of Wands for Calvin, please? Strength card. Uh, Leo's energy, this is about a relationship, maybe with a fire sign, Leo, Queen of Wands, strong fire in your chart or, or someone around you. Um, yeah, it's hard for you to endure someone else's like 
bullshit. And I feel like this isn't a connection that you have. I feel like you're finding out some things that you did not want to find out about someone either you're in a relationship with or it also again feels like a little an element also of like a mom and dad type figure that very much do not approve of who you're dating or with or married to or whatever that is about for you. And it's hard. It's like hard every single day for you to be in this relationship. You love your person. I don't doubt that for a second. But there's a really, there's like someone's approval or someone's lack of approval is really like fucking with you. Uh, Nine of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Hermit, you. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. I feel like almost there's like the tail end here. You're almost like you might need to ask for money or support from this emperor empress. And you're just like too scared. You're like, I'll figure it out on my own. I guess we'll go without. I almost feel like you're being chariot seven of pentacles. I just told this story not too long ago to another, to another. It was in someone else's general reading. But it's like, it's kind of like when I got kicked out of my house at 18 and 19. Because like, not for the same reason. But like, I don't know. My parents were very strict on me, but I feel like, uh, like if I wore black fingernail polish, like I would get grounded for two weeks, like ridiculous. But anyways, I feel like you might have like parents like mine or like you're coming from an energy of like, I'm not supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to do this. But what it is that you're like, I'm not supposed to do this is like your passion or your truth or your love or whatever. If I were you, I would say, do you boo? But you're having a lot of fears around what everyone else thinks about who you're with or what you're doing. And that's really messing with you more than anything. Okay. That's your reading love. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.